Hey, what is going on guys? In this video, we're going to try to break the Excel worksheet password. So right here uh, under the test Excel file, I have two worksheets. So right now, these two worksheets are not password protect. So we're going to apply a, a worksheet password. And so for the route data, let's go ahead and right click the, the tab and click on protect sheet. So here I'm going to uh, randomly check some uh, options. Okay, and that should be enough. And I'm going to name the password uh, Microsoft. And for the other worksheet, uh, she one, I'm also going to do the same. So here I'm going to uh, type some text and uh, right click, put a sheet. And this time I'm going to uh, use the password uh, Excel. And save this file. Now, if I try to type something on the Excel worksheet, I'm going to get a warning message that uh, this worksheet is uh, password protect. And same for the route data as well. Now, let me close the Excel file. And I'm going to make the icon a little bit bigger. So the first step is to make a copy of the Excel file. And just in case, if you corrupt the Excel file, you know you have a backup to come back to. And we're going to use the test.xlsxxl file uh, for demonstration. So I'm going to move the, the copy to a new folder. And before we get started, uh, make sure that uh, you set the setting to display the file extension name. And to do that, in your folder, go on the view and go to options. And you want to go to view. So you want to uncheck the hide extensions for known file type. Make sure that this uh, option is unchecked. And once you've done that, click on OK. And that will display the full uh, file name plus the extension. Now let's go ahead and change the extension from XLSX to ZIP. So we need to convert this to a zip file. Now double click on the zip file. And that gives you um, all the, I'll say, uh, the raw files that uh, make out to the Excel file. What we need to focus on is the Excel folder. The Excel folder basically contains uh, all the files make out to your worksheet. So here if we go, uh, if we look at the Excel folder, and here we have the theme. The theme basically is just the, uh, your Excel um, theme style. And here's the worksheets and workbook styles and share settings. And we want to go under the worksheet uh, folder. And here you can see that we have two files. So she1.xml file and she2.xml file. So these two files are basically the raw data that make up to those two worksheets. Now let's select these two files and drag these two files to, uh, to your desktop or somewhere on your computer. And here, grab a notepad. So here I'm going to just use a, uh, a notepad. It will drag the uh, she1.xml file to a notepad. And that will display all the XML uh, markup make out to the uh, she1 uh, Excel worksheet. And now you want to uh, scroll down a little bit towards the bottom. And here you want to look for a tag called uh, she protection. Now highlight the she protection uh, tag from the beginning all the way to the end of the tag, so right here. You notice the end of the uh, the tag is when you see a, a forward slash. Now delete the tag and save. And okay, now let's open a new notepad. And we'll do the same with sheet to the XML file. So we'll scroll down all the way towards the end. And we'll look for sheet protection right here. And we'll uh, highlight all the uh, text all the way to the end, like right here. And delete. And save the file. <clears throat> now open up the file again. And mine was open still. Now you want to move these two files. And you want to replace with the existing worksheet's XML file. And close. 
Now we need to change the extension name back to the regular Excel extension name, XLSX. And let me refresh my, okay. Now, if we open the original Excel file, and here we're not getting any errors. And now if we hover our mouse and right click, and now you can see that the protection now got removed. So now if I try to type something on the worksheet, and, and we're not getting the warning message anymore. And same with the route data worksheet. So here, if I want to delete all the data on the route data worksheet, and enter. And now I'm able to do that successfully. So this is everything I have to show you guys. I know a lot of time people forget their uh, worksheet password. And most of the time uh, people scramble to are not able to figure out you know, how to retrieve the information from the Excel file. And I hope this video will be useful to some of you guys. If you guys found this video useful, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.